what's up? It's Avaya Mighty, and today I'm going to be taking you through the making of my video, 13. Then came the 13th Amendment, written in 1865. It says, slavery is over, except it's pay for doing crime. Thinking about 13 from an animation perspective, there was no way to tell the story of the song through something that was actually being filmed. For me, what made sense about it was the ability to kind of recreate each moment in the song. You can show the rope from the tree. You can show these thought provoking visuals that add to what's actually being said. Anything that was too real world 2020 would take away from the historical element of the song. It started in 1640, shackles around my ankles. Melanin meant that I can't go to schools or read because who's gonna serve my master? Oh, I really like the fact that it looks like a storybook, you know, like, um like a pop-up book. I typically like to work with a limited color palette. That's sepia tone. It expresses the history. Everything looks very aged. I think it's really impactful. Like every other director I've worked with, I, I gave Theo a lot of freedom of expression. And I think he just nailed it. Just his ability to morph and transition the storyline along, like that for me was like, that was all him. Meanwhile, I'm grateful for all that I'm giving. I'm picking this cotton in rhythm. I pray for a lot of the living. Escaping is probably a sin. And if God ever finds out that I want my freedom, well, damn. They the horse was the first thing I animated. It's reference to a lyric in her song, like two horses with opposite maps. I thought that was like a real cool image. If you dig into what slavery was like for black people and the sort of torture and trauma that they were exposed to, there are a lot of heinous practices that they had, one where they, they tied the hands and the feet of black people to separate horses and order these horses to run in opposite directions. You can imagine what that would do to the human body and the, the type of murder that that is. Ensuring that I put that, that pain that is in the history into the song and of course saying it in such a way where it's like, it sounds like poetry, but it's really murder. The system, the new slave master, brought in to stop us and bullying shit. One of the things that the song talks about is like the militarization of police. I really wanted to draw something that's intimidating. I kind of wanted to make things look cold and uniform because I feel like there is a callousness when it comes to this. That clip to me speaks to the fear that I live with every single day. Freedom is still something so many of us are fighting for. And who instilled that fear in order to prevent you from fighting for your freedoms are the, the people that look like that. Especially now, post writing the song, we're, we're really, really, really seeing that. I think more now than ever, that's a really, really powerful clip. You see the hands, they're cuffed up. Around it, it's like this juxtaposition between sorrow and sadness and beauty and uh, just kind of wanted to convey that complexity being in an enclosed space with all these thoughts but in the middle in your core and in your center still remembering well, i gotta be hopeful that i will overcome this that's what that clip feels like to me and hopefully getting us into the mindset of what what can we do to undo all of this all of this terribleness that we've just seen for the past three minutes knowing that that exists like where do we go the implication is let's work on this i think that I'm most proud of the willingness to take the chance to write a song like this and put it out. And man, we have so much work to do. 